God bless you tonight. This is Bishop Turner. This morning we come to you on Mars Day to pray for them. We come this morning to pray for you that lost and all the veterans of Vietnam and the Korea War. There's no sorrow to heaven cannot heal. I'm praying for you, you and you this morning. Those that have lost love. When I want to say, Brother Jerry William, Brother Dwight William, there's no sorrow on earth that heaven cannot heal. I'm praying for you that's going through the death of, of your mother. And I'm praying for her soul. And uh, I want you to know, Sister Earlene William, and I want to say, I say I share an ancestor, and Brother uh, William, Monroe William, God bless you, Brother Jerry, and your family. There's no sorrow on earth that heaven cannot heal. I'm praying for you, Sister Deborah, picking your mother, Pearl, praying that no sorrow on earth that heaven cannot heal. And all them that lost, Sister uh, Emma, I'm praying for you. The loss of Neville Parker, there's no sorrow on earth that Lily Chandler, I'm praying for you. The loss of Jimmy Miller and all the Miller family all over the world. And all the Cook family all over the world. All the William family all over the world, I'm praying. Those that lost loved ones in Vietnam and Korea, I'm praying. Those that seeking how to open up doors, I'm praying today that every door that would be open. In our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ, I come to you to pick the power of God up for you. I say, I say, our ancestors, as we come this morning to talk about the healing of our nation the deliverance of our, our nation. And I want to tell you, don't forget, you can receive the book, and you can receive the book of our, our uh, prophecy book for 2017. I wish you called and get involved with it. And I want to say to you, there's no sorrow on earth that heaven cannot heal. And we're in a healing mode. We're in the healing process this morning. We're in the process to lift you up out of the degradation that you're in. We're in the process for doors to open up for you at this time. And I want to say to you, you and you, wherever you might be, get ready for God to lift you up out of the sorrow and the pain that you're in. For God to bring you to the next level, whatever it may be this morning. And I want you to know, Sister Sarah, I'm praying for your mother, love. I'm praying for you in Yazoo City. I'm praying for you, Sister Hazel, down in Jackson, Mississippi. I'm praying for you, Sister Cook, right down in Monroe, Louisiana. This go out for Betty Art, Pastor Betty Art in Homer, Louisiana. Brother Hurd in Homer, Louisiana. Ebenezer Baptist Church. Now, I want to say it to you right there in Blue Box. I'm praying for you. And I'm praying for you right there in Bernice, Louisiana. And I want to let you know all is well. I'm praying for you and you today. And I want you to know this Sunday is a special Sunday. We're getting ready to honor our veterans, those that paid the price. They paid the price to save this country. In Vietnam, Korea, Afghanistan, Iwo Jima, they paid on both sides. But we asked them God to deliver peace and love all over this great nation of ours. And we know that God can do it as he deliver us into another level. And God can do anything but fail. And we're asking God to touch right now. Whatever you might be doing, we're asking God to touch. For those that have lost loved ones in the war, 
I'm praying this morning for you. I'm praying for the breakthrough for you and the door and things will work for you. We're going to have a short reading by one of our sisters. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead, and seating him at his right hand in the heavens. For above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, in only this age and in the age to come. And he put all these things beneath his feet, and gave him as his head over all God gave power to <clears throat> everything. Jesus said, it is fitting for me to go. If I don't go, the Holy Ghost can't come. So God brought his, for God so loved what he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Get ready for God to bless you. And I want to say he's sitting on the right hand of his father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want to say for you, you and you this morning, be blessed. Jesus sitting on the right hand of his Father for peace and love. Get ready and receive the power of God and the anointing of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God, the Most High. Sit on the right hand of his Father with all power on heaven and earth. Go forth that no other name that man can be saved but by the name of Jesus. This morning, Carrie, I'm praying for you. Carrie Tucker, I'm praying for you. Carrie Nan, I'm praying for you. There's no sorrow in heaven. There's no sorrow in heaven. There's no sorrow on earth that heaven cannot heal. There's no sorrow on earth that heaven does not know about. God bless you tonight. I want you to get ready this morning. This is my book. Uh, and this book called The Seed of Abraham Prophecy for 2017. That would be earthquakes. That would be 12... Uh, Going in, this is prophecy now. After I do this, that will be 12 hurricanes this year, and the weather going to be unstable in the Midwest and out west. Dust storms in California, two earthquakes. These are some of the prophecy that the angel brought to me. I want to say to you, get ready for the door open for you. I just want to share five minutes with you of God. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes. I want to claim your healing, Ralph. And I'm Joan, I want to claim your healing tonight. I want to tell you this evening, wherever you might be, all is well. Scranton of the black family, I say, I say, our ancestor. I'm going in the spirit world. Lorraine, I'm praying for you. Mickey, I'm praying for you. I want to let you know God is able to do anything but fail. There's no failure in God this morning. I want you to get ready. For God to bless you. I want to share a scripture with you. And I want to open up a door for you. It's three keys. Going into this year. I want to give you. And if, you, if you're if here with me. Archangel Michael. At the top of the picture. And there's the roots of it. Represent the family. The strength of the family. And there's the Ark of the Covenant. And there's the pyramid from Egypt. With three lights represent Michael, represent Gabriel, and represent Mother Tron. These are the descendant angels that's coming down. I want to pray for you, Walter. James, I want to pray for your healing. Some of you are going through. I want to pray this morning that every door closed will we open up. I want to pray this morning for things to work for you. 
where you can go knowing so on and flowing right. Yes, I'm praying for you, Ruth, in North Carolina. I was a print in North Carolina and Joe in North Carolina. I'm praying for you right there, Mary, right there in South Carolina. And every letter, every telephone, we're praying. I want to read this to you. The first key, put down the first key. Philippians 419, God will supply your need. Whatever you need this morning, God's going to supply your need. I want you to read Philippians 419. I want you to work, work with Philippians 419 because God's going to supply your needs all the rest of this year. Whatever you need, God's going to make you a supply. I'm praying for you, Gina. I'm also praying for you, uh, Lisa. Joe, I'm praying for you. Get ready for a door open up for you. Mary Scott, I'm praying for you this morning. All is well. Sam, I'm praying for Sam Harris. I'm praying for you and your family. I'm praying for the Harris family. The key number two is seeking for your miracle. How do you seek for your miracle? By surrendering everything to God. St. Luke 6 and 38. Shake down, press together, run over. Whatever you give, give back to you to measure be met. I want somebody this morning to say, Bishop, I'm going to see to this ministry, and I want you to see to this ministry where you can be blessed. And key number three, expect a miracle. Tell somebody, I expect a miracle. Call somebody, so I'm expecting a miracle. Get ready, Psalm 44. God open my door for you. And I want special, I want you to read Psalm 44 and Psalm 45 for a special miracle that you expect. And I want you to read St. Mark 11 and 29. And after you read it, say, I'm expecting my miracle. Joanne, I'm expecting my miracle. Pat, I'm expecting my miracle. Calvin, I'm expecting my miracle. Florence, I'm expecting my miracle. I got a message for you. Uh, Gladys said all is well, Florence, and I want to let you know when she come, uh, uh, Brother James Cruz came with her to say all is well, and your father is standing there. That's all right. Uh, I want to say this to you, Yvonne Anderson, your mother, uh, come uh, in the spirit realm this morning, and she come to say all is well. Lena May Anderson want you to come to her grave site and want you to put some roses there. And whenever you do that, some yoke gonna be broke for about you. Joe, your wife said she wants you to be happy. Lisa, your wife said, your husband said, you're making the right move. Don't look back. I'm praying for you. Now, I wanna say this to Brother Dwight and Brother Jerry, and I wanna let you know uh, Jerry, your mother and your father are together and they want you to know that you have been there and we and we want they want you to keep on doing what you're doing. You and your wife and your wife mother is around a share shake. And 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 they give me a scripture for you to read for everybody that got loved ones that they want to be dear to. Psalms hundred and nineteen and Psalms 21, read that. I feel the spirit of Gabriel coming, and Gabriel is the angel of resurrection through the power of God. See, Lazarus was dead. They sent for Jesus. Jesus was busy. Jesus could not come. And they run to Jesus. If you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. And Jesus said, where to go? They carried Jesus to the gravesite. And Jesus looked to heaven and looked. He said, Lazarus, come forth. At that moment, Lazarus had been dead for three days. And they said, well, he's dead for three days. He's stinking now. He ain't going to come forth. But the power of the Almighty God this morning can heal you. The power of the Almighty God can move cancer, TB, tuberculosis, whatever going on in your life. God can move it quick, fast, and in a hurry. So I want you to let go and let God this morning because God's going to move that 
problem from you right now. I want you to get ready to know that God's going to move it, and when God moves it, everything in divine order. At this, uh, at this hour, as I pray for you, I want you to claim the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I'm praying for you down in Georgia, Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas. Uh, I'm praying for you in Las Vegas here in Chicago. Here, I'm praying for you over in Hammond, Indiana, over in Gary, wherever you might be, lift the name of Jesus up, and he will bless you. He will bless you. Father God, we thank you tonight that we come this morning to pray for all our fallen heroes and our first responders this morning on this Morris Day. We're praying that every letter, every telephone call be blessed. Lord, we thank you this morning. Father God, the God of Abraham, the God of Jacob, we, we thank you this morning for how you have come through and open every door. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we call on you today to keep the doors open for us. And don't forget that our brothers and sisters have paid the price. As I go back to Egypt, as we go to South Dakota to the mountain, I want you to know that God is able. The blood of Jesus, you're covered under the blood of Jesus this morning. Whatever you're going through, I want you to go through it. I want you to know this morning that God is able to deliver you. God is able to save you around the world. We're praying for our sisters and brothers around the world, those that have nowhere to go. Those don't know, but I want to say victory is yours. It's a still voice saying all is well for you, Gene. Uh, Robin is a still voice. David, for you. Ralph is for you. Uh, I want to tell you, Millie is for you. I want you to lean on Jesus, and I want to let you know all is well. Get ready for a breakthrough. Get ready for God to carry you to the next level. I'm praying for you that on the outside looking in. The wage of the sin is death. The gift of God, eternal life. Yes, it's time for you to change. It's time for you to put the alcohol bottle down. It's time for you to leave the crack, the cocaine alone. It's time for you to come to Jesus and say, victory is mine. Sometimes you find that way happen to you. I want to say to you this morning, a great love story that I want to talk to you this morning. God bless you in Georgia. God bless you in Alabama. God bless you in Tennessee. God bless you in Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas. God bless you in Minnesota. God bless you in South Dakota, North Dakota. God bless you in North Carolina, South Carolina. God bless you in New York, New Jersey. I want to share the victory with you. So you got to say, I got the victory. Some of you don't seem like you got the victory, but I want to tell you this morning, God is pouring out his blessing on you, and you got the victory this morning. And I want to share with you, that was a young man that was coming up. Maybe he worked for his father in his business. They were very successful. But a spirit, come on this young man, and he went to his father and said, Father, give me what fall to me because I want to go out into the world. Father being a good father, the father didn't ask no question. He gave the young man what belongs to him. Some of us get things on us. The young man was out of his mind. Sometimes when you're out of your mind, when the devil slips in, you do things, not. But I'm praying for them that ask God for forgiveness. So the young man got his good, and he went out to rowdy living. Or he went to every club. He went to every bar. He was involved to what all was going on. But after a while, he had friends. His money was gone. After a while, his clothes got raggedy. He didn't have no more cows. He didn't have that 
that entourage that go with him to every bar, every strip club, every casino. It was all gone. He didn't have nothing. Cause the man was out of his mind. I wish somebody prayed with me this morning. He didn't know what to do. He felt into a hog pen. He felt low. He didn't have nothing. He was cut off. And he, the Bible said, he come to his sense, to his sense. He said, I've sinned before God and my Father, and I need victory. I, I need to repent. He was eating slop huffed with the hog. So my father is rich. My physical father is rich, and my spiritual father is rich. My heavenly father is rich, and my earthly father is rich. And here I am, out of my mind, don't know what I'm doing, smoking dope, smoking crap, on cocaine, sick, about to die, got AIDS, got herpes, got all of that in this hog pen. I'm low and low and low. But the Bible said the young man came to his senses. He got up out of the hog pen, said, I can go to my father, which is physical. My heavenly father have forgive me. The Bible says he got up out the hog pen and began to make it on his daddy's property. Now, I want to imagine a little bit. He was on his daddy's property, and if you imagine the big ranch that you can see for a long way, the dad is sitting on the porch, know that he wouldn't see his son no more, but he said, here's my son that was lost, but now he found. He was dead. But now he alive. And he coming back. That's a love story. He coming back. You got to go back to God. You got to say, God, forgive me. I was lost. I was taken over by the devil. But I'm ready to serve you. I'm ready to do what you want me to do. I'm talking to somebody this morning. God going to bring you out of it. And the young man begin to walk. I mind you now, this young man had failed into property because he didn't obey God. He walked away because he had strange, he had strange feelings. He was out of his mind. He he wanted to do, he seen the grass on the other side. He thought it was green. So this young man, the prodigal son, on his way home, his dad had looked and seen and said, that's my son. Told other son, kill the fattest calf. Get my golden slippers. Get my purple robe. Get my ring I want to put on his face. Here's my son that was dead, but he's now alive. Coming back to God is sweet, people. Coming back to God, he will heal you from cancer, tuberculosis, cataract, tumor. Victory is in the mouth. All is well. Victory is with you this morning. I curse every devil, every demon around you because victory is in your hand. And let victory walk with you and victory open my door for you. Just ask for victory. Victory going to do it. Victory open the door for you. Let victory work for you. Victory going to clear things up for you and victory going to do it quick, fast, and hurt. So you said victory is mine. And the young man came, his daddy killed the fat cat. The other brother got mad. He wouldn't come to the party, the celebration. But the, the father, here's my son that was dead, but he's now alive. And I want to tell you, Jesus is my everything. Get ready. If you just let him in this morning, he's going to break every yoke for you. And I'm praying for you this morning that God will do it for you. Get ready. And he come back home and if things are all right. I want to tell you, the cancer left, the TB left, the cataract left, the AIDS left, every condition that the son had, when he connected back up with God, when he connected back up with his father, he got all right. And I want to tell you this morning, make a connection with God. I'm praying for you, Pastor Ella. I'm praying for you, Pastor Lila. I'm praying for you, Prophet Joanne. I'm praying for you, all the prophets, all the saints. I'm praying for 
God is my everything. Can you say that? God is my everything. I want you to know he's my joy. He's my whatever I need. God got it. So I want to let you know this morning, going into tomorrow's day, God is my everything. And he's going to put a text right. Michael, Raphael, you. God going to protect you, young man, young woman. God going to protect you. D, I'm praying for you. Joe, I'm praying for you. Lester, I'm praying for you. Ed, I'm praying for you. Wayne, I'm praying for you. Get ready for God to do something to carry you up to the next level. Geneva, get ready for God to bless you. Joanne, get ready for God to bless you. Maxine, get ready for God to bless you. Uh, Cora, get ready for God to bless you. I want you to know, Robert, God going to bless you. And God going to open my door for you. Yes, Marvin, God got you. I want you to get ready. Alexa, God got you. And I want you to know, God going to open my door for you. Say this, all is well. And I want you to know, Mary, all is well. Uh, Tina, all is well. Tracy, all is well. I want you to get ready because God is my everything. And get ready for a walk with God. Get ready for God to open every door for you. Get ready now. God is able. I want to tell you, get ready and say, God is my deliverer. Somebody say, God is right now. Father God, we come and desire to touch, heal, and deliver. Break every yoke, every man, every woman. God, heal right now. In the name of Jesus, I curse that cancer, that TB, that tuberculosis. The blood of Jesus around the world, all the tears around the world. We praying for the people in England, London, in UK. We praying for the family. There's no sorrow up there. Heaven cannot hear. Those that lost loved ones in the army, in the service. I'm praying for you. Open your eyes and know God is everything. God is your everything. Whatever you need, God got what you want. God got what you need. Call me. Describe to me.